Hi, welcome to the Lightning Chef Kitchen. We love salsa, we use it in everything. It's really good for you. Thing is, at $4 a jar, it gets kind of expensive. I'm going to show you how to make salsa with things that, ingredients that most people have right in their cupboards. I'll tell you, people ask me all the time, where do you buy this stuff? I don't buy it. I just make it out of the stuff I have right on hand. First thing is a 28 ounce can of diced or crushed tomatoes. You can use either one. These happen to be diced. Next, I have a half a cup here of chopped jalapenos. I leave the juice in. You want that for the flavor. It adds a lot of flavor to our salsa here. Uh, this is just one small onion I diced up. It's a little more than half a cup. This is one tablespoon of cumin. Here we have one tablespoon of onion powder, oh, garlic powder, excuse me. You don't want to use garlic salt. The stuff will get way too salty, so make sure you use garlic powder. And here I have just about a tablespoon of cilantro flakes. You can use fresh or the flakes. Now I'm going to put in uh, about a tablespoon and a half of my favorite hot sauce. Use whatever you like and just do it to taste. Some people prefer it with no hot sauce. I, I like it a little spicier, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Now if you want finer salsa, you can just go ahead and throw it in a blender or a food processor. I happen to like it chunky. And uh, this will get much better with time. The longer it sits, the better it gets. But there it is. There's our salsa. It's ready to go. I wash out my old jars and refill them. Now here we have two four dollar jars. This cost us about sixty cents a jar. Now if, if you want your smoother salsa, just remember go ahead and chuck this stuff in a, in a food processor and puree it, make it whatever consistency you want. I love this stuff like this though. It's so good. Just wait till you try it. Mmm. That's good.